Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist. And in today's video, I'm going to be drawing. I'm going to be drawing the the previous video I drew like the like the, essentially like the Dr. Jiro of their universe. But this creature is uh that guy mixed with the robots that are on his team. They form like this giant, like, you know alien looking thing and it was you know on a different level in regards to like everybody else you know it was um it was pretty all right it was a pretty good uh a pretty good power level for that person to, you know because think about it this way it, in the tournament of power how would you have like fodder characters even force main characters to go to their highest level of forms if they're not strong enough if they're simply not strong enough goku and vegeta if you made all the characters in the tournament of power be able to make goku and vegeta go super saiyan blue regardless of you know whatever the situation may be that's kind of a slap in the face to their ability and it would also be a slap in the face to Jiren's ability because it wouldn't mean anything for you know it obviously wouldn't mean anything for him to go Super Saiyan Blue even to fight Jiren if everybody in the Tournament of Power was able to fight against Super Saiyan Blue so you um in order to make it so somebody can fight them make a lot of characters be forced to fuse with each other. That's a good that's a good method of doing it. Even though fusion is like, you know, iffy, well, with the Patara earrings, it's like iffy, but the characters that can fuse without that, like those are good methods in order to get, like close the the skill gap. And I liked it. But uh let's get into this. You're my bitter one, taking me home.
Okay, I am finished with this picture of the fusion, Mr. Mr. Fuse. He was a uh, he was giant, and it took the whole group to even fight this dude. But like, I don't know how consistent you know that is. It's because th okay, think about it this way, right? Fusion is a factor fusion scaling is a factor as well so you would have to scale it based on the individual fighter if you take someone like goku and fuse him with somebody like yamcha the change would be less significant than if you were to take goku and fuse him with gohan right I'm I'm using these examples because I don't want to directly fuse Goku with obviously Vegeta, which is the two strongest of the group. I don't want to fuse the two strongest. I want to fuse people that like haven't fused yet to gauge power. So if Goku is set set like by a long margin, like if Goku is set to beat Yamcha like ten times over, okay? And you take anybody and you fuse them with Yamcha, Goku still should be able to mop that person regardless. Even if you fused Yamcha with Vegeta, they would still get worked. They would still get mollywopped. They would get beat black and blue and it'd be crazy because Yamcha doesn't hold that much power. And what I'm saying is these this beast was created by, I think, three people, three fighters fusing. Now, one fighter is not directly strong. I think the uh, Matt, uh, Jiro guy that I claim is Jiro from this universe, he wasn't directly that strong. So fusing him with two robots that really couldn't even stand a chance against Goku and them, why, why did they become that much stronger? that all of those guys needed to fight this one creature if the individual creatures weren't that strong to begin with. And it brings me to my next point, the fusion of androids. Why is the fusion of androids so much more significant in its fusion than other fusions are? So like the... Um, the fusion dance, the Patara earrings, and then the fusion of the androids or the absorption of the androids. Why is the absorption of the androids so much more significant than the other two? At least in my eyes, right? It could be wrong. But it seems like that based on like, you know, perfect cell, what he ended up going to, right? Like Vegeta was mopping him and then he emerged and then it took Super Saiyan 2 Gohan to even be able to touch this dude, right? It's just one of those questions. Answer it in the comments if you would know that answer. But uh, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment sections to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace. Love. Thanks for watching.